Hello everyone. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to work with various events of grid view. I have a form with me. The grid view which displays employee ID, employee name, employee salary, employee gender and department ID. I got this grid view from my database organization in which I have a table employee. So my database is here I have got employee table employee ID, employee name. I am simply displaying all these things on my form. Let me execute this. So this is my output. So I have got employee ID, employee name and salary. Now salary is on the third column. What I want is if the salary is less than 50k <coughs> nothing but 50,000 then I want that row should get highlighted as red color its background should be red background of that particular row should be red so any employee whose salary is less than 50,000 should get their background as red and if the salary is between 50 to 60 then the background should be blue if the salary is greater than 60 then the background should be red so I'm going to simulate this and I'm going to implement this now there could be many situation and scenarios in our real-time projects where we need to perform this kind of operations now I'm going to discuss a couple of them uh, say for example I have a table where I'm handling some request from the client and the request from the client may have some priorities say the request from the client whatever I get has three kind of priorities one is low second is medium and one more is high <coughs> so I need to differentiate all the request in the grid view if the request has got high priority then the background should be red for that particular request so my records could be of that kind of request so I can apply the same logic that we are going to learn today and say for example I am trying to display another scenario I am trying to display the records of a student along with their average say if the average is less than 35 then the student is failed so I need to highlight those records red in color and I have you know many many scenarios in my real-time applications where I need to go for this kind of task so we have many ways of implementing this task but I'm going to show you the way which is more efficient and I can use the grid view row data bound event for that <coughs> now let us go back to my application this is my grid view grid view has got many events with it go to the properties and in this events menu you can find there are In event <coughs> so in <coughs> so in events menu you can find n number of events like page index change event page index changing event so we have ample of events available with us row deleting row editing row updating circuit index change we have already seen this event now let us see a uh, event which is related to the data that is data bound event row data bound event data binding event now i am going to work with row data bound event means what what is that i am going to do i have a grid view in the grid view it is binding uh, one row after the other on my page that means i'll get one row then the second row then the third row this is how it binds the grid view what is that I'll do at the time of binding the rows to the grid view I'll check 
the value of that particular cell now say this is my first row second row third row now every row binding it triggers an event row data bound event so in this every row bounding what is that i will do i'll just try to check the value in cell 3 say this is my cell 1 cell 2 cell 3 so in cell 3 if the value is less than 50 then i'll highlight this row or i'll change the background color of this row to red so as many rows i have so many times it is going to trigger this event so at the time of row binding itself i'll check whether the value of cell 3 is my is in my range in my range and i'm going to change the background color depending upon the value so it's very simple just i'll go for row data bound event and one more thing rows i have various types of rows one row is header then these are all data rows then this is page row and i may also have the footer row now if i go for the properties i have show header is set to true show footer is false i'll just make it to true this is nothing but the footer of my grid view i'll just save this now i'll go to the data row bound event and here i'll check i need to check the value only if that is not the header or not the footer or if it is data row so how do i do that if e dot row so e i am getting from the event arguments grid view event arguments e i am getting from there so i'll say e dot row so now i'm on each and every row in each and every iteration like first row binding this event gets triggered in the second row binding this event gets again triggered for the second row so if i say e dot row means what i am tracking each and every row e dot row dot row type dot if e dot row dot row type is equals to i have an enum of data control row type dot it is data row empty data row footer header pager separator anything so i i want to check only if it is a data row now what is that i am going to do in this i am going to check the values if e dot row dot cells of 3 that means it is the third cell you see that cell 1 is employee id cell 2 cell 3 is employee salary so i'll say cell 3 dot text dot to a string it is any string so i need to convert this to integer in dot pass is equals to if this value or if this value is less than 50000 what is that i want to do i want e dot row dot back color equals to the red red i can get this red color from a class that is nothing but available in drawing namespace and the class is color and the drawing namespace is in system namespace so i'll write the complete path system dot drawing dot color dot red that's it it is very simple in the same way i'll write rest of the cases i need not to go for lc flatter here so i can go for lc flatter else if the value lies between 50 and 60 that means if this value is greater than or equals to 50k and the same value is less than or equal to 60 
then my background color should be blue same thing I can go for one more condition I'll simply say else I need not to write the condition here if it does not fall in two categories definitely it will be in the third category then the background color should be green that's it this is all we need to do I can just enhance little I can get the value in an integer int val equals to I'll simply take this out from here I'll say cut this I'm gonna paste it here and I'll be comparing the value that's it so it will be little help for so it will be little help for us to understand these things so I'll simply copy this I can compare the value save this so that's it if the value is less than 50,000 then the background color should be red if it is between 50,000 to 60,000 then the background color should be blue else the background color should be green that means more than 60,000 so in the same way you can check if the flag uh, say for the request scenario if the flag is equals to high that means priority is high then say red else green in the same way you can handle any kind of conditions here in the same way you can handle any kind of conditions here save this execute it so you can see if the background is blue that means it is in the range 50 to 60 if the background is red it is if the back you can see if the background is blue then it is between 50 and 60 if it is red it is less than 50 if it is green it is greater than 60 so that's it it is very simple Thank you very much.